within the Woodward Corridor, along an olden aisle. Almighty God. Windows speak the spirit of lessons fulfilled by light. Bless us with your Holy Spirit. the Cathedral Church of St. Paul. Help us to try to do our best. Help us to try to do our best. In all that we do. Windows to the soul, it said. The eyes, innocent and eager. Help us to see the beauty of your world. Here, the eyes are filled with color and light. And to find joy and laughter in each day. The Cathedral School. Wow, in one book? What a treasure find. Well, tell me one thing. Uh, I think it's one thing. Cathedral School is nine years young and like growing that. fast. See that little bitty seed? Christian by heart, mindful of all cultures and all faiths. Faithful to its spirit. Lessons fulfilled by light. My book down, she says. Rosemary Berger is Cathedral's principal. Of course, we strive for excellence in academics, but our emphasis, our really, our true emphasis is making decent people out of them because that's the, way, the only way the world's going to change. Bless our Cathedral School and guide us in your love as we grow to seek the truth. We are a Christian school. And that's what's so wonderful, because even in our chapel services, we're not that Episcopal. We follow Episcopal form, but basically, we're just very Christian. We don't, uh, we don't train little Episcopalians. We're just trying to train good Christian people. One of the things that I always think about when I'm out on the, on the playground is that we are in the shadow of the Cathedral Church of St. Paul. Well, that's more than a physical shadow. We truly are in the shadow of the church, which I think is our, is our main background. It's teaching people good Christian values, and that's where it all stems from. Bertram Herlong is Cathedral's dean. I believe that the, uh, the moral basis of our uh, teaching and, and decision making is an important drawing card and that parents really want what is best for their children and they know that if they have that capacity to make sound moral judgments that their life will be better in the long run. It was very still when Chester uttered his next words. That Tom is our son, he's eight and a half years old in the third grade here and he enjoys the work that he has to do here, both in school and in the choir. He likes that very much. He likes challenges. Tom has a choral scholarship. He's in the men and boys choir and Part of being in it is he receives uh, full tuition. They sought us out and it happened. And every day we feel grateful. 
And when you're exposed to such, you know, open generosity, yeah, I think it teaches a lesson that you know, to us. Once you know, once uh, you arrive at a point where you're able to be, you know, that generous to other people, then you, since it's been done to you, you want to be like that for other people. Right there in your brain. It's a warm spirit here. I certainly appreciate that because I don't want to have to worry about Carmen here, and I don't. You really feel good that from the transition of preschool right on up through each succeeding grade, that your youngsters are going to be progressing academically and socially, where they really learn how to share. That's fantastic. Very good. Cathedral works to become an extended family for families who work. It provides not only preschool, but also a latchkey program. I believe the school has been successful for several reasons. The first is uh, that there was a real need there that we are answering. Second is that we have an excellent faculty and they are all warm, wonderful, loving people. The other thing is that we, we have such a wonderful location. As you look around, top layer, the people of the different races. We're here in the midst of the cultural center and uh, all of those facilities are available to us and help us in terms of um, having a really broad and expansive curriculum. The thing that Detroit was particularly famous for was developing the assembly line. We believe very much in the city of Detroit and wanted to build an institution that would help the city of Detroit become again what it has been in years past. The school is an integral part of the revitalization of the Woodward Corridor and it will help begin as a catalyst to help the redevelopment of the city and the community. Well, when we started the school, we were not aware of the great need that we would be answering. And uh, so the school has grown much more rapidly than we expected. And we now find ourselves in a position of needing additional classroom space and, and uh, space for the children to play. Uh, we would like to continue the, the growth of the school so that it goes up through the eighth grade, adding one grade a year. But we have literally run out of space now. We can become a model school uh, that could be uh, used for the development of other schools, not only in terms of other churches, which we hope will pick this up, but also in terms of community schools.